Episode of Airgun Detectives. Today we're going to take the mystery out of the Sig Sauer P365. And this is a CO2 blowback BB pistol. Before we get started, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. It really helps us out a lot. Appreciate your feedback. Thumbs up are great. If you'd like to be notified of any new videos coming out, just go ahead and hit that um, little bell right there. In addition to that, uh, don't forget about these firearm guards. If you guys are interested in these, I set you guys up with a special deal. You go to um, Firearm Guards, there's the uh, website down below. I'll leave a link in the uh, comments. And the uh, code is AIRGUN and you get free shipping. They're under 15 bucks. They're great moisture captures. I have one in my gym bag. When I was going to the gym until they stopped that again recently. But uh, they go in my gun safe, keep the moisture away from my uh, precious firearm. Anyway, let's uh, talk about the P365. This is put out by SIG AIR. It's a, it's a replica of their 9mm. Um, this retails for about 79 bucks. Basically what you got here get your gun, get a little sample pack of EVs right here, get your wrench, and you get your little instruction manual. And of course you get your little gun here. It has your dropout magazine. All right, let's move this stuff out of the way. Okay, set this up here. I'm going to show you something. I got something special to show you here. I'm going to move this box out of the way. All right. So this is the replica of guess what? The genuine. 9 millimeter. Okay, gun's empty. Magazine's empty. Alright, now look at this. These two are spitting images of each other. They really are. This is one of the closest looking replicas I think I've seen yet. I mean, right down to their sights. You can see the little sights on the back. Now, of course, the genuine has night sights, and uh, the replica does not. But the color of the sights are very, very similar. So they did a tremendous job duplicating these. So what can this gun be used for? Let me tell you something. A lot of practice. Look, this thing will go right in the actual genuine holster. Look at this, right there. Goes in the holster, just like that. So guess what? do a lot of practice drills, drawing, pointing, firing, and do all that in your backyard. Become much, much more proficient. So if you look at these, these are, it's absolutely amazing of how these look. Insane. All right, all right, so let's put this one away. Let's talk about our CO2 pistol here. Get that balanced up there. Okay, so this is CO2 blowback. It has a 12 shot um, magazine. The CO2 actually goes in here. If you'll see, there's a little screw on the, the bottom. That comes off. CO2 drops in the bottom. You tighten this up with the Allen wrench that's provided and you pierce it. Um, it's got 12 round or 12 round capacity. You can actually put about 13 in there, but you drop that little spring back just like that. There's a release right here. You push that down, and you just drop your BBs right to the front. Very easy to load. And then the release, you just pop that back up, and you're good to go, just like this. Bring it just like that. The magazine goes in here. Um, again, let's talk about the uh, the sights on this. It's got the three dot sights. If you guys can see, so you've got kind of the green one here. Then you have the two uh, white dot sights back there. And the genuine ones, these actually are night sights, actually glow. They don't glow on this version, but they look very similar. Very similar. Uh, this has a three quarter, a three and a quarter inch barrel, so it's a very short barrel. The whole gun is less than a pound, it's like eight tenths of a pound. So they're claiming 295 feet per second. We'll test that. We'll see if we can actually get that type of velocity. And uh, we'll go ahead and test the accuracy. 
and go put it through our rest of our test and we'll come back and talk about it. All right, let's try our SIG P365 over the chronograph. Let's shoot five shots, see what we get. It's about 78 degree day. Uh, we'll average it out for you. All right, let's go. Shot number one. 301. Shot number two. 297. Shot number three. 288. Shot number four. 308. And shot number five. 273. All right. There's the average for this little guy. And uh, let's move on to the next segment. Let's test out our P365 for some accuracy here. We're a usual 10 meters, about 32 feet. Go ahead and take a look real quick. Anyway, we'll just see how well this groups. Um, I want to thank um, Splatterburst Targets for supplying our targets for us. So um, hopefully we'll see where these impact. I'm not expecting a whole lot with this short little barrel on this gun. So let's see what happens. We'll see what type of group. I'm just shooting basic 5.1 uh, zinc BBs and uh, the, the uh, Sig Sauer BBs. So let's see what happens. All right. That's shot number one. Shot number two. Shot number three. Shot number four. Shot number five. Shot number six. And seven. Yeah, so I shot I shot more than five, but I just wanted to kind of see how it grouped. We had three of them that actually grouped pretty good in the center there. The rest of them spread out um, pretty far, but not horrible. It's actually did a little better than I expected. So you can see what um, the grouping is there for yourself. And let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's test our P365 here as far as trigger weight goes. We've got our trusty Lyman trigger gauge here. And let's uh, see how well we do. All right, five pounds, you got a five pound trigger. Like I said, you can, it's got a little weight to it, but it's totally manageable. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's try a little plinking with our 365. We're about the same distance as our accuracy test, uh, about 10 meters or so. So I got a few targets up there, just some uh, aluminum cans and what have you. So let's see, uh, let's see how well we do with these. All right. That's it. Must not have as many rounds in there as I thought. But uh, not bad for the most part. Uh, good for plinking. As we talked about, these are good for practice. I mean, look how small these are. They are so small. So to have these so compact and be the identical size of my genuine 9mm, you can't beat that part anyway. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Okay, so you guys saw how our P365 performed. So let's wrap this whole thing up with our little conclusion here. All right, let's talk about the positives. First of all, the positive, number one is, this is a fantastic replica. I showed you the real thing. This goes in the, the holster of the, the genuine uh, nine millimeter. This would be great uh, to practice with, uh, just you know, going in and out of the holster, develop that muscle memory. It'd be terrific for that. So it's great for training. Um, I really like the three dot sights. As you can see those with the green in the front. It has a tremendous sight picture. It really does. And you gotta love the compact size. I mean, you look how small this gun is. It really is just really compact. It's got a really crisp blowback too. It's got a crisp blowback. Uh, you can feel it. it. Feels pretty genuine as far as that goes. Um, as far as the feet per second, it did exactly what they claimed it would. We averaged. Um, we had actually a high of over 300 feet per second, and our average is pretty much right where they claimed it would be. So they were right on with that. So those are all really the positives. Um, Again, I just love the compact size on it. Also, I want to let you guys know, you get about, when this gun's performing properly, you get about 60 really good shots out of the CO2. So, um, about five magazines, which is actually pretty frugal for as good a blowback this is. But let's talk about some negatives. Okay, my number one negative, go ahead and guess, see if you know. Exactly, the accuracy. The accuracy was uh, not good at all. I mean, we're talking a large, little larger than a four inch group at our 10 meters, which is about, what, 32 feet, and uh, was not good. 
The number two I have to show you, I had some valve issues with this. Um, and it happened to me about four or five times in a row. Check this out. Yep, that's what happened to me. Um, totally surprised me. And I was thinking because maybe the CO2 was a little warm, but it wasn't that warm. It was maybe, you know, we're talking a 78, 80 degree day. Um, CO2 was in the shade. Um, so there's something wrong with the valve. It obviously uh, was stuck open. Uh, once that um, valve was triggered, it stayed open. And it doesn't seem like there's enough spring tension to close it back up. So that happened. Another big negative that I have with this gun is the threaded CO2 base cap, this base cap here. you got to be really careful when you put this cap in. You have to um, basically start it with uh, your fingers and try to thread it. And it's very difficult to do that, but if you don't, you're going to have a good chance of cross-threading this. So you want to thread that in slowly and then use your um, Allen uh, wrench to uh, snug it up. The other thing I noticed is you had to snug it up really tight to keep it from leaking. Because you would pierce it, you could hear it hissing, you could hear the CO2 coming out, and then you had to crank it down really hard to keep it from uh, leaking. So this magazine, um, that's, that is a weak link on that. If SIG would address those two things, they need to address the, the um, threaded CO2 base cap, they need to address that, and they need to address obviously the valve in there. I don't think there's enough um, uh, spring pressure on that after um, the valve is triggered. So. Anyway, that, that would be my opinion. You know, I love SIGs. I want to love this gun a lot. But the most that I can give this gun right now is three stars. That's the best I can do. Um, if SIG maybe addressed those other areas and we could improve the, uh, the performance as far as uh, the magazine with the CO2, then, yeah, definitely it would get higher marks. Because I love the size of it. I love the feel of this thing in your hand. And it's a great, great training tool. But... Uh, Right now, three stars. Other than that, if you hadn't subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. I would appreciate that. And check out my uh, Air Gun Detective website at www.airgundetectives.com. What I'm doing now is I'm uh, liquidating some of my inventory that's been building. So I'm going to have one of the kind rifles and pistols on there that once they're gone, they're gone because I only have one. And uh, most of them are in better than new condition because they've been upgraded or tuned or finish has been changed on them, something's been done to them, and uh, you're getting them for a lot less than you would pay for even a new one with all the upgrades. So with that, I want to thank you again for tuning in to an episode of Airgun Detectives. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the airgun. Until next time.